everyone, so today I am going to do a um, Emma Roberts tutorial. Um, the look she had on the cover of the May issue of Seventeen magazine. Yeah, and I'm going to do her makeup. Yeah, I'm not doing her hair. <laughs> oh yeah, that's too elaborate for me. But um, her makeup, and I think I think I got it pretty close. Maybe it's not exactly the same, but yeah. And I'm going to do a voiceover again. So. Um, we'll see how that goes, because, um, Struck by Fashion liked it, and it was really fun to do. So, um, let's get into the video. So we're going to take the Clinique Base in Silver Lighting, um, yeah, Lighting, Lighting, I'm pretty sure it's Lighting. Um, anyway, it's like a gray silverish color. And so we're just going to take a flat shader brush. I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And um and applying that all over to your all over your lid. Um and this we're not using a primer because it is a base, so you could just do that but if you want a bit more pop, then you could just put a primer on. But it's and this is the only shadow we're using because she only had like a gray shadow on on the cover so that's the only thing we really need um or if you just want to take plain gray shadow that's fine too um okay then you're going to take a white eyeshadow whatever white eyeshadow you have or a white eyeliner and take an eye i mean a pencil brush and apply that to your inner corner corner did I say quarter? I'm at corner. Okay, then you're going to take a clear mascara. I am using Great Lash by Maybelline. Clear mascara, whatever. Clear mascara they have. Um, because she did have kind of long lashes. They weren't bold. Okay, the other one. Okay, then I'm going to take the clean blush in Nude Nude. Um, that one right there. It's kind of a cinnamon, cinnamon color and we're using that as a bronzer um, because she was a little bit bronze but not too bronzy. I mean not too dark but if you do have a darker skin tone you could use a darker bronzer and not like a blush. Color. And I'm using the e.l.f. blush brush which it's eh. I don't know. and you're going to apply that to the hollows of your cheeks take it down your chin and onto your forehead for your B3 get it right into the hairline take it across the forehead to the other side and yeah kind of build the color okay then we're going to take this blush it's a dupe of dolly mix by MAC so if you had that that would work um, yeah, it's like a really bright pink. The picture wasn't true to color, and just apply that to the apples of your cheeks and really build that up for that nice rosy pink. Alright, and then I didn't have a lipstick that matched it, so I'm just sticking this color. I'll make fun of dupe for me. And then um, it's just going to randomly cut off in a second. So, um, thank you for watching and subscribe. And then I'm done putting my lipstick on. Okay, comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye!